Hello everyone, welcome to a new TZD video. My name is Chiro and today we're talking about the new DNS. We uh, had just an amazing update coming out uh, where we uh, changed or give you the possibility to change the entire storefront um, uh, uh, looks. So, for example, you can see mine that I already created to show you and uh, we start from the announcement banner, we have um, categories, main categories and subcategories that you can create, uh, main collections that with a click directly uh, send your customers to the to the collection you want you can choose the campaigns to show here uh, you have more collections you have um, you can show um, you can also link six different categories directly on your store and more main collections as you can see with all the all um, the campaigns that I decide to uh, to show on my front store so what I want to do in this video is show you how to set it up so it's quite easy so of course you need a DNS store linked or bought on TCD so once you have that you go on details and you're going to be sent to our settings so um, the first thing I suggest to do is to create collections so collections uh, since all the the settings are done with collections it's 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 good thing to have them already prepared um, so my collections for example are um, my custom products that I put all in one collections and all the niches I have products uh, for I have products in so as you can see I created all my all my collections and I put all the products that are uh, linked to them so what I also did is create master collections so since I have so many collections and uh, I can only uh, add six collections here I created a master collections called for example all categories and events where I can link all my collections here so easy for the customer to browse in and also I give um, I put under events um, all my uh, my data specific uh, uh, niches um, so this is one thing so once I created all my collections I can move now to storefront and here is where I can create all the um, all the new main collections and all the new categories so I have already prepared it so but when you arrive on this on this page you will find the um, you will find it turned off so the first thing you do is of course you switch to the new DNS store. Uh, one thing about this that you can you can turn it off and on as uh, at any point. Um, the, all the changes that you do to the new DNS store are saved. So if you're not satisfied on how it looks, maybe you want to ask your designer to redo an image. You can just turn it off, move to the old one for for a uh, for a short period of time before you're really completely ready to move to the new DNS store. Um, one, one thing, keep in mind that from now on we're going to work and improve only the new DNS store because in our opinion it's just much better than the, than the, than the older version. So at one point we suggest that you move all to the new DNS store. So that said, once I move you on, on I will have these three menus pop up and uh, that I can then modify. So um, let's talk just a second about the announcement banner before, where, where we had some little improvements we made possible for you to um, to um, to add more fonts, for example. And we can you can now also put uh, on specific uh, words or letters or the bold, italic, and underline to give it maybe a bit more uh, yes to to give it a bit more attention to the customers. And of course, the color and the text color, it didn't change. That's that's like always. So let's start with the collections, the categories. So as I said, these are the categories that you can choose from this setting here. So since we already created the collections, the master collections, you can see I have all the collections I created. I put my master collections as, as the first two. And then I, I put the four collections that in my, uh, for me, are the one where I do most sales. So they're going to be they're going to be here on the six i can of course change them at any moment i want and i just have to click on update and i'm going to change them also on the store so this is one thing and as you can see it's pretty simple here you don't need any images to prepare so now we go on the next one is shop by category and it's this six images here where if i click on one i'm going to send directly to a collection with all the products that are in this niche in this category that is family as you can see this is the page that we have now for the old store that converts very good so we kept it like that so we just put on top a new front store um, to explain you how we did uh, the new dns so um yeah here what i have to do is of course prepare six images that i'm going to show that i will show them directly on the on the store 
um, you can find the information of the images on how they should be here directly on the tooltip. So you can see that the dimension is 300 per 300 pixel and a minimum of 150 dpe and then like i did for the categories also here i will choose between my collections so as i, re I repeat again because it's really important for first thing prepare your collections and main collections because then it's quite easy so once i have prepared all my images i click i update i uh, upload my images with these buttons here and i, I link the specifics as a collection to it i just click on update and it's immediately saved Okay, so we just then we just move to step number three. That is the step that requires a little bit more time. Um, the first image, the collection number one, is the collection here on top. So we suggest to have it. Um, you have the difference. Um, you click on on, and you will have then the the um, sorry the information of the images and how they should be here in this two tips. So you can see that the dimension recommended for this one is one thousand one hundred. And 40 uh, pixel per 380 pixel in width and weight height that is going to be the long pixel here we have we're going to do an improvement next week because in this moment um, um, the size is not is a bit stretched out but we're gonna we're gonna improve it next week and uh, we're gonna fix it of course so it looks like that and once I created once I uploaded the image I want I can of course link the collection like I said it's all about collections and here I can choose the campaigns I want to show. So I just click on it and just let me delete one. So as you can see, you have uh, nothing here. You do a select and you have all the all the campaigns that are in this collection. And I select the one I want to show. And that's it. And I can do it with four products. OK, so I choose the collection and I choose the four products I want to show on the main page. Um, ah, yes, this is a direct link. So if I click on Cat Mama, I will send directly to the checkout uh, to the to the campaign page, so not to the collection. So for a faster checkout. And um, what I can also do is create title, a description, and a call to action. As you can see, now I left only a title here. As you can, uh, I, I have extra family collections, but as you can see, you can put also a short description if you want, and the call collection and the call to action button can also be modified. So you can see if you want to if you want to have click here or other languages, you can choose the color of the button to make it uh, more personalized at the color of your of your banner or of your other images, and you can choose also the text color. And the same thing, you can choose the color of the title and of this on the end of the um, of the description. So you click on OK, and then the other four images. Um, are the images that are a bit different size and also that you can find the, Im the information here on this tooltip you can see 500 555 pixel for um, by 600 pixel width and height and you can create them and it's the same the same thing with the title with the call to action and the description and the same thing with the selecting of the campaigns so uh, yes, that's it. So it's quite easy. The, the only thing is that you have to prepare uh, the images um, before creating all your uh, creating your new DNS store. So if you have a designer or if you do them on your own, uh, take your time. Just click on on. You can see the information. You can see the images you need, the sizes. Then you just you just click on off and you stay with the old old DNS store until you're ready to move to the new DNS store. So um, it's a pretty uh, huge um, uh, update for us. And we would love to hear your feedback about it. If we can, if you, if in your idea we can improve it a little bit more, um, or if you already like it like that, so let us know what you think about it here in the comment section. And uh, well, that's it for it. I hope you enjoy this new update, especially for Q4 that is coming up. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for listening.